Hi guys, it's Wendy. I'm back again. Um, thank you so much for all the wonderful comments about uh, my video um, where I was using uh, and decorating a... Um, gosh, where is it? <laughs> Here it is. I was decorating, uh, crafting at night, and I was decorating some jeweler's notebooks. And um, I sourced these at uh, Janine's shop, J9 Crafts, um, on Etsy, and um, I saw that she ran out. So I thought, oh gosh, wow, hey, hey, <laughs> this could be a one-page project if I could try and figure it out. So this is my one-page project version, um, and I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's, it's not as long, uh, but it gets us where we need to go. So I'm really happy with that, and I thought, okay, if you can't source them, why not make our own? And let's do that. So this is a one page of um, coffee stain paper. Isn't that beautiful? That just happened by chance, by coffee staining. Uh, and my method for coffee staining, uh, I'll link below in the, the, in the description below the video. All right, so let's give it a whirl. And this is simple as this. There are a few more instructions than usual on the one page projects, but I mean, if I'm doing it, it's not hard to do. It's as simple as that. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. So what I do is I fold it in half lengthwise. We're not going to need that width entirely, but that gets us started. Then I take it, I open it up again, and I take it to my cutter, and I cut it at four and three quarters this way. So just to the fold, and you can see I didn't get quite to the fold, and I don't go quite to the fold because I don't really want to go over that. So I'm just going to just then do that to take it to the fold. Um, so I'll go through this twice so that hopefully, hopefully, it will um, come together. So that's going to be the flap. Uh, what I do then, this is the only tricky bit, and it's really not tricky. I then just cut up into the shortest piece, the four and three quarters piece, and I'm going to just cut a quarter of an inch off. Okay? Like that. So you can see there's a quarter of an inch. And I just find that helps for placing where we're going to have the actual, uh, we need some space at the top for items going into the pocket. Okay, so the next step is I take this larger flap, which is six and a quarter, and I'm going to just fold it over, I don't know, it looks like about a half an inch or a centimeter, a little over a centimeter, and then I'm going to glue it. I've only done this once before, so if I make an error in doing this, um, that's okay. I've got another one we can do. Okay, so I fold. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I did make an error. I don't want to fold it there. I'm going to take the glue off. I put the glue on the wrong side. You were all probably yelling at me saying, you've got it on the wrong side. So, I just want to make sure that's dry. Actually, no, that would be lighter than I want. Well, we could do it this way. No, I'm going to continue. Just, I'm going to let that, let that dry. We'll do the other one that I started to cut. So, and then we'll come back to it. So I'm going to cut to the corner on the shorter side, which is four and three quarters. Cut up a quarter of an inch. I didn't want to stop and restart the video because it just, uh, we're on a roll now, we're on a roll, okay? So then on the longer bit, we're gonna fold it over um, about a centimeter or half an inch, whatever you want. If you want your envelope to be narrower, then that's up to you. Um, and I wanna put the glue on the outside because that's where I'm going to fold it over. I'm using art glitter glue and you use whatever glue you are most comfortable with that you've had good results with. Okay, so we've just folded it over like that. 
and we've got a little extra there. I then take this bit and I want to make my flap fairly um, fairly secure so I like it to have a double width and you don't have to go right to the edge because we're going to be cutting that edge off uh, and there you go so that is the base of our envelope and then I use I don't think I have that cutter there so I'm going to have to do this by by eye uh, and I'm going to cut all the way down. Now if you have a cutter then this is a good use for your for your cutter but I I just can't get it in the screen and then I'm gonna I made that a little narrower than it ought to be. Okay so there you go this is the base and then what I do is I fold at the bottom of that bit there but wanting it to be straight. So I'm going to just push it up. So I've folded at the base of this so that I do have that space there. If I folded right here, then it would be difficult to get things inside. And I didn't cut that entirely straight, and so it uh, is just playing up on me. But there you go like so. And then I do the old flip it up and I'm going to go about like this one's going to be a little bit longer on the bottom. Totally up to you. You could make it a little bit higher. I'm going to take it more like an inch up on this case. And they're all individual. Uh, it doesn't always turn out the same. As you can see as <laughs> I'm just goofing around um, and then I'm going to just cut that inside one off but not the outside one so this is that same method of doing the bottom of the uh, of the envelope and then I'm going to go up like that and we've got a double thickness there and you could put a little divot there depends on what you're going to do. If you're going to cover it with paper, then you could um, wait and put the divot in at that point. Now, the envelope that I have here, the one that was the store-bought one, you see it comes in a little bit, kind of has a bit, a wee bit of a curve. So we can eyeball that. We can, we can attempt it. Um, I'm trying to think what's the best way for me to do it. And you could use a cutter, and I'm just going to make a very sharp angle that way. And you can see it was very narrow. And then uh, we're going to try and do it on this side. I can already see this side's not as straight. So how did we do? That's not bad. So there's a little angle there and a little angle there. And there's our envelope. Simple as that. So why don't we try and do this one? that I cut at four and three quarters, folded it, cut it at four and three quarters to the fold, and then I cut up into the um, where the flap is, keeping this longer bit untouched. We folded it, and I don't put the glue on the inside. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Gosh, I used to have a teacher that used to say that all the time. Um, like that. And then we're going to put our glue up here. I'm not going to the edge because I don't want, you know, there's no need of... of um, wasting glue that we're about to cut off. And you don't have to make it thicker if you don't want to. I like it thicker because then I find it just... Um, so you can see I'm going to try and fold right on that line. Um, it, it lays down like it flops over nice, nicer because it's got a little bit of weight to it. And that was a better one. So it was just folded there. Okay. And then we want to cut. And like I said, I would use a cutter. For this or you could use if you have a 
if you're adept at using a ruler. Um, I am. I can't find my ruler. I mean, on my plastic rulers, I can see three of them here at the moment, but I cannot find, for the life of me, my metal rulers. So, and I'm itching to get one of the We Are Memory Keeper ones. So I like it to be not too short. So it's just, I don't know, it's about an inch, I think, thereabouts. And, whoops. Okay. So then I do the old divots. And divots. Fold it open and then just cut this one fairly close to it, not right on it because, you know, I uh, I might bodge it up like so. And there you go, we've got an envelope and you could leave it straight or you could go ahead and attempt, attempt a really narrow angle. Okay. And you could draw that out if you were concerned that you're going to mess it up, but I don't think you can mess these things up. And there you go. Look at that. Number two. Second one. Um, let's do this one. We'll just do this one by eye rather than worrying about... Um, let me see. I've got a there. Um, we won't use the um, cutter. Uh, what did I say? Four and three quarters. Okay. So four and three quarters. And you could, if you wanted to use a, um, gosh, if you wanted to measure, this would be a good way to do it. I'm just reaching behind me and grabbing some colored pencils. I am a colored pencil. I have a problem. I have a problem. I am constantly buying colored pencils. Well, I mean, I do use them in my in my art. Um, I don't think I have anything I can show you that um, that I've made with them that's handy. Most of my stuff is on the walls. So this time I'm going to cut it to there. So that's probably that's probably the safest way to do it is to draw at four three four and three quarters. And then I'm just going to go up. And if you wanted to get that perfect, you could also draw that on. There you go. All right. So we're going to fold it again. I know you don't need me to do this again, but I got to say, it's fun to do. <laughs> it's fun to do. So I'm going to put the glue on the outside. Just fold that over, and then I'm going to put glue on here. I think that the really the only tricky bit, or the part that might not be just like, oh yes, of course, do it this way, like the intuitive bit. I don't. I think the only part that might not be intuitive is to do this little cut here. That's it, really. Okay. And then I'm on a roll now. Cut it here. Right up to where it's folded. And don't cut into the fold because then it's then it's no longer an envelope. And then we want to cut it here at where the opening is. That one looks perfect to me. Oh gosh, that's nice. Nice coffee steaming. And then, like so, this month's going to be a little bit longer. Yep. And so you could do, you know, possibly make two small ones with half a page or whatever. I don't know. Ah, that might be a bit of a challenge, but someone out there is going to give it a whirl. Um, so I'm just going to cut this bit. And put 
some glue here. I like these one page projects and I only, I only, I try and only make things that I know I'm going to use because otherwise I feel like I'm kind of wasting your time. So let's do the little angle. There. Perfect. And like I said, if you used a cutter, you'll get that even straighter and that's fine too. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little curvy on that one. Oh my goodness. Okay. There we go. And that is our third one. We did three of those very quickly. Um, just meant to replicate this. And you wouldn't have to use coffee stain paper. I like coffee stain paper. I use it a lot. It it um, There's something about the coffee staining that firms it up a little bit. Um, I don't know, uh, maybe I'm just imagining that, but that's, that's what I think. That's what I feel like is happening there. So we'll see. Okay, let's decorate one while we have time. I've got half an hour, so why not? And I pulled some beautiful papers. This is one of Rachel's and I love it. It's, um, one of her, um, uh, letters. She's a few kits of letters. So that's one that I bought a while ago. And I don't know why, but I'm super drawn to the blue ones. Um, and the really, uh, really browny ones. So I'm just going to take that. And this is, this is just like what we did in our video last time. I'm just going to cover this down here. And... My idea is that this would be one that would um, be attached on a page. So I'm not worried about the back being, you know, um, super pretty, if you will. I don't mind folding things over because I'm going to use this. I'm going to attach it into a journal rather than clipping it into a journal. If I were clipping it in, then I would definitely finish the back as well. Um, and these that we did last time, I think those could still be clipped in because that's just very minimal. Uh, but this, because there's color involved, I'm going to, I'm just going to go this route. Ooh, I'm, pardon me, I'm so sorry. Isn't that beautiful? Like they're really lovely. Really, really lovely. Okay. So, do I want... I have some more of these, the fabric that I printed on paper. You can see, I think I showed this in the video, but you can pull it off. This isn't sticky anymore because I, I printed, I, I adhered the plain muslin fabric to the paper with the uh, spray glue at least a year ago. And so it has lost its stickiness, but sometimes you can do several pieces of fabric on them. Um, are they gorgeous? Floral pages, that's from set one. Um, I have my washi put away because we could have used a bit of washi, but I like this one. I had this out. Um, from when I was doing some, uh, what were we doing? We were doing some, oh, playing in my art journal. So. This is washi on paper, and that's the only challenging bit, is me getting it off the paper. Ah, I did it! So I'm going to just add some uh, glue to the edge, just to make sure, because sometimes washi gets a little moody and wants to come off. So I just love the idea of having a little bit up there. And I did some fussy cutting yesterday of a lot of Took's fabulous flowers. And these are her fussy cut flowers. So we could put something like right here. That would be kind of pretty. I like that. Um, 
but do I want something else behind it? You know what? There's no reason why we can't use... Would it be wrong? I don't think it would be wrong to use another piece of this beautiful writing. What if we had something? I know I think that's a little too much. And see, I like something sideways, but you know what? I'm not seeing it's it's getting lost because of all that beautiful light writing on the back. So what else do I have here? I have um oh okay, I've got some more of uh, these are I think no, these are tailor-made journals. These are some of her beautiful wa um, wallpapers, I believe. Ooh, that one's yummy. Might be too much. This, let's try a little bit of this. Um, because it's it's got a bit of that shade that um, Rachel has in her writing. And... Isn't it? Yeah, I think it's definitely too much. I love it, but it's too much. So let's use, I have some of my railroad paper. I think I'm just going to pull a piece of that off. Whoa. And we could set that back here. And I know the flower, because there's that beautiful red line in there. Yeah, that's much better. So that's going. That's what's going through my noggin on there. I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, you know, it shows my process because it's. I'm often very decisive, but there are times when that just doesn't come right away, and so you have to you have to take the time with it. So that's a little bit long. So I'm just gonna rip it off the bottom. Tear it off. How are we doing for time? So yeah, you can make your own jeweler's envelopes. I'm I'm really happy. It's what do they say? Um, necessity is the mother of invention, and that definitely falls into this. That was the motivation for this um, particular project in using the. Um, using the papers. I don't like how that's coming up. You can see it on the bottom from the front. So I'm just going to tear it off a little bit there. And that's my cutting more than anything else. So that is coming along really nicely. And I have I have some uh, tabs. Or do I want the blue? I think I want that one. Uh, the blue just for me just didn't wasn't doing it. I don't know why. But it's funny. I think I mentioned this in the video uh, when I was decorating the um, jeweler's envelopes. Sometimes you can't say why something is, but you you just know that you don't want it for that particular purpose. Um, yeah really like that. It's got a nice shabby chic sort of feel to it. And I have some of these only because this is, you know, from when I was crafting last night. I didn't put all my supplies away, so you use what you have. So we'll just take that. I mean, we could set it up here. Oh, I like it up there. I was thinking about down here, but then it you lose part of the um, saying. Also would be nice up there. Um, but I like it there. <laughs> but I want it there. Oh my gosh, I sound like a, a kid. Was that close to saying, because I said so. Remember the things our parents used to say to us when you went on a long trip? And we were like, how long are we there yet? Mom! Um, 
Okay, let's see. How are we for time? I think I'm going to put a couple of, of labels because I love them. And Tracy does such an awesome job with them. I like that one. Is that two? That's a little too blue. A little too on the money. That's nice. So, just going to set that down here. I think that looks really, really cute. And you could put something else in here if you want it. What have I got here? Just got some beautiful paper. There's no need, I don't think. Um, just for fun, I'm going to take a piece of this railroad paper. And we can set that there. I don't know why, but that's what I want to do. And I love that it's got cringly and crackly, and you can see the little bits there. Get a fiber stuck to my to the end of my <laughs> glue. Oh my gosh. Um, and you notice I didn't put my divot in there yet. I was waiting because I knew I was going to put some paper on here at some point. Um, oh my goodness, where did I put my... There it is, my pen. Gotta have my pen. Alright, let's see. Where is my hole punch? My circle punch? There it is. Um, so I'm going to put that in here. And we will be done. So we will have made an envelope and decorated. Made well, we made three envelopes and decorated one. Super fun, super easy to do, and this will be really, really effective in a journal. And it's a one-page project. There you go. My version. <laughs> of a um, jeweler's envelope made from one page of paper. Super fun, guys. Give it a whirl, and I hope you're all well. I'm sorry if I didn't say that sooner. I'm always thinking it. Um, it is a gorgeous day here today. Real cold, though. It's like minus 15 Celsius, which is super cold. Um, it's been colder, but um, I'm holding out. I'm holding out for things to melt. I said to my husband today, Oh gosh, we should really think about putting out, uh, you know, the um, garden furniture on the deck. And he looked at me, I think he thought, what is going on with her? We have at least two feet of snow on the back deck, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. But it was one of my experiments, just to see if he was actually listening. All right. Thanks again, everyone. See you all next time. Bye.